Despite being in the latter part of his wrestling career, Chris Jericho is still one of the most popular pro wrestlers in the business today. Jericho constantly finds new ways to reinvent himself, everything from the list to it to his current incarnation in AEW, All Elite Wrestling, with him in the inner circle and a little bit of the bubbly. Chris Jericho, of course, joined AEW, much to the surprise of a lot of fans since Vince McMahon was hoping he would stay with the WWE. Jericho first got a taste of life outside of WWE back when he went to New Japan Pro Wrestling when he wrestled Kenny Omega for New Japan Pro Wrestling, and later on again wrestling in New Japan, this time against Tetsuya Naito. Chris Jericho was happy enough to go back to the WWE many times, but now Jericho has revealed the straw that broke the camel's back and what he felt was a huge insult from Vince McMahon, which led to him eventually signing with AEW. Chris Jericho stated, Kevin Owens was the champion, and I was going to beat him in the main event of WrestleMania as a babyface. Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar had a match. Brock really liked it and wanted to have a rematch. He put Goldberg over, and they had a rematch, but only if he won the title from Bill Goldberg. That was Brock's idea, so they changed it. Vince said that it's going to be me versus Kevin Owens for the world title at WrestleMania, and you're going to win the title. Fuck yeah. Next week, he doesn't tell me, but I hear that it's changed to Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg for the title. And not only did they take us out of the main event, and once again, just because I was told I have no right to it and things change all the time, I'm a big boy, I can handle it. But to take us from the main event slot and then move us to the second match on the card, on a card that has 12 matches on it, I was like, that's a fucking insult. We had the best storyline of the year, but it doesn't matter, it's still not going to get me higher on the card to be second on the card at Wrestlemania. I need to leave, that is how you know. When the time comes when you are put in the spot as an insularity guy, then I went through the whole thing when I went on tour with Fozzy and had the Tokyo Dome match against Kenny Omega. This whole new world of creativity opened up and this whole new star power for Chris Jericho and we drew a lot of money for New Japan at that dome show and that was how the road to AEW started. It's blatantly clear from what Jericho said that he found it incredibly insulting that his incredibly popular festival of friendship and whole tag team storyline with Kevin Owens never got the spot in the WrestleMania card that it deserved. Kevin Owens was the champion and a lot of fans were really looking forward to seeing Jericho face his friend and then rival Kevin Owens, who's also a fellow Canadian of course, at the biggest stage of them all. Vince McMahon even told Jericho they would have the match there for the title only to pull it away from Jericho thanks to the demands of Brock Lesnar once again. Of course it's understandable that Brock Lesnar vs Bill Goldberg's a big match, but there's no doubt that in terms of what was promised and what was hinted to to fans, that he should have stuck by his word and gave Jericho the match he wanted. And I'm sure now Jericho is constantly blazing a path of success and currently bringing more fans than ever over to his rival promotion AEW that Vince McMahon regrets that decision right now. This is Wrestling Rambles 89, signing off.